Let's talk crochet. Hey folks, it's Mary, AKA Mercy Triumphs, and this is Slow Crochet. This is episode 072, and I just wanna check in on all the things that I've been crocheting in the past week. So I do have some finishes, I have some new projects, and some continued works in progress, so let me get to those. The first thing I want to talk about is the things that I finished and I wasn't even sure that I was going to go through with these, but I was making a little hat, my own design, and a child saw me making it and wanted it. So I did finish that hat for him. Then I thought, what would happen if I made that hat instead of using a four weight yarn, what if I used a three weight yarn and I used a, let's see here, a 5.0 millimeter hook. So I tried that, made it a little bit bigger, and I have that one done as well. And then I thought, while I'm at it, let me go ahead and make a third. And I made a third, again, using a four weight yarn. This is a cashmere that I had left over from some other projects. And I went down a little bit of size, but I was trying to get this pattern to work out for me. I figured it out, and so yes, hopefully, I will actually have the time to put this together as a tutorial. It's an original design and I thought, you know what, this could be a fun one to just throw up there, it's something I'm interested in, and it does work up pretty quickly and it's pretty effective. So this one, I used a four weight yarn and I used a, uh, a vintage 6.0 millimeter hook on that one. So my finishes this week are three hats. <laughs> Things that are ongoing, well, Crystal over at Bag Day Crochet is doing her shawl along, and she released, I think, two separate chunks of that in the past week. And so, yes, I, <laughs> I worked really hard, but I am currently up to date at time of recording. I'm actually recording this a little bit early because it's Sunday and it's kind of chilly and I was actually able to wear my sweater. So I thought, let me go ahead and record while I'm wearing the sweater. Anyway, that's why I am able to say that I have the shawl along up to date. I've kept up with it and I've had to be really quick, but okay, I'm on my second skein and it's getting pretty floppy here. So I'm sure I have more than enough yarn, but I know that the end will be kind of in sight in the next little bit. I am happy that I'm keeping up with that. I am trying to take some pictures and I'll put together some clips to have like a dedicated video to that all in one whack in the future. The other shawl that I started working on is the Hostbachring, the autumn garden shawl. And I'm doing this all with Patton's Croy socks in several different colors of it and using a size G hook. And I've gotten through my second color which is cadet colors, that those blues. And now I've gotten into the greens and these beautiful kind of warmer tones in there. This is clover colors. Here's the shawl thus far. It starts out looking like a kite, but then eventually it will break off and just continue on one side so that this point down here will end up being the point of the shawl and this line will continue on up. I have made this before, not entirely, um, but this is one that I knew I would like the design. And it's just a nice breakup from all of the shawl along stitches. This is a little bit more predictable and the pattern is written out and so I can go at my own pace there. But loving how that is coming together as well. Other works in progress. Here is my backpack, yay! Things that I've done on this so far, we are so close to being done with this. Um, last week I was asking about, should I do a flap over the top or should I make this into a pocket? My solution was go ahead and make it as a flap, but then get some of the lining fabric and do a pocket. So I haven't actually put the lining in. I have to finish sewing up the pocket and putting that in, but I thought doing a pocket out of a solid woven fabric is gonna make a lot more sense than a gappy pocket of a granny square. So I did get a button out of my collection just to put right there in the center. And I kind of cobbled together half squares to do just of that solid cream color to do on the sides. You can see all my interior st stitches here. On the back, I measured out how long I wanted my straps to be. I don't have any kind of hooks or sliders or anything like that. Um, I just have the solid straps. And I did this out of the matching brown yarn, and I just did some single crochets across, and then I slip stitched along the edges to kind of tame the tendency to stretch out there. So once it's all done, once I have the lining in, I'll have the lining with the pocket, and then my little drawstring, and the little button, 
over the top and then it'll be just a cute little kind of backpack purse that I will enjoy getting a lot of use of. My children have admired it and I said, y'all, this takes a lot longer than it looks. So no, I don't wanna make any more. Y'all, I'm even starting to say no to my children when they ask me to make things for them if I'm not really excited about it. I feel kind of guilty about that, but at the same time, you know, I'm homeschooling, I'm with them a lot, and crochet is one of those things that I do just for my own heart, just as an adult, just to kind of unwind. I don't want my unwind time to be stressed out because I'm making something for a child even. So I am trying to be very good about guarding that. So this one's for me. No, my sweet children, I'm not planning on making another for you, but love your heart, love that you appreciate it. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll see about things in the future. Maybe you'll get some surprises from me in the future. Not that my kids watch this, they're too little for that, but just FYI. <laughs> Other things that I am still working on. I thought I would be finished with this hat, but alas, I am not. Actually, let me run get something real quick. It's easier to explain if I just show you, so be right back. All right, so this is the Crocheted Seafarers Cap by Beth Hall. This was the original one that I made, and if you look at how nice that top is. It kind of comes to a little bit of a point, but mostly it lays flat. There's not a lot of gathers there at the center. Here's a hat that I just finished, and there are quite a few gathers, and I thought, what am I doing wrong? And then I realized, oh my goodness. On the original one, I actually followed the pattern, which has you do some short rows of slip stitching at the top. For this one at the top, I did not do any of those short rows and hence you have a more gathered effect at the top. Now it doesn't affect the hat itself in terms of its wearability, but it does affect how it lays and kind of how it performs. And I realized that for this purple one, I was following this pattern instead of this one. So I ended up frogging way back and I am indeed following the pattern correctly now so that I have some rows of short rows in between the rows of slip stitches as I go towards the crown. So what that's gonna do is everything's gonna lay nice and flat. The only thing is I have to pay a little bit more attention when I'm making it, but then again, this is all a back loops only kind of project, so it does take a little bit of attention to begin with. Knowing this hat pattern, it does kind of take a little bit of extra time. It's not just a quick one hour beanie but I like the effect so much that it's absolutely worth it to me. And that's also why I went ahead and took the time to frog all the way back. But yes, hopefully, <laughs> I said this last week, but hopefully this will be done this week. Did I start anything new? Yes, I did. This is the very beginning of a wrap cardigan or bolero type thing that I'm making to kind of go along with the spring mood board make along. It's a kind of garment that I've been interested in and it's something that kind of throws back to when I was a lot younger and the styles I used to wear. But this cardigan is gonna be really sweet. I'm using a size H hook with it. And the yarn that I'm starting with is Knit Picks Bear. It's 100% merino wool. It's 440 yards to 100 grams. So probably a sport or even a fingering weight yarn, maybe a sport, somewhere in between there. Um, so I don't mind using a smaller hook and I'm actually really enjoying it. Something about these wonderful vintage hooks have just opened up lighter weight yarns to me in such a new way. I'm even finding that in working this shawl out of sock yarn, I'm enjoying it a lot more. I never thought I would. I was such a 6.0 millimeter kind of girl that as I drop down into the fours and the fives, it's really bringing me a lot more joy than I expected. So it does take longer to make something out of thinner yarn, but my hands are just so happy doing it and it's bringing me a lot of delight and a lot of sweetness. I have no time frame on this particular project, but it's one that's gonna go really quickly because it's a lot of double crochets in the main part and then the sleeves are more of a lacy design and then I have an extra cake that kind of corresponds to that that I'll do in the future. Definitely not gonna be done within the time frame of the month of April, so I couldn't go ahead and include it in my make along video, but I did go ahead and get a start on that and I wanted to include that in this video here. So that is what I've been crocheting this week, y'all. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me, listening to me ramble just a little bit and just be glad and happy about the things that I'm working on. I wanna know from you, 
What are you working on? What is bringing you joy right now? Have you had a kind of straightforward crescendo into the change of seasons or have your change of seasons been up and down kind of like ours are? Kind of some warm days and then some really cold days and then we'll finally decide that we're actually spring in the next month or so. But let me know what's going on in your lives. Love connect with y'all. I so appreciate that you're part of my life. Thank you so much for being present with me and hanging out with me in the comments. Y'all are super encouraging, lovely, wonderful, as gushy as this sounds. I really do hope that you know that I mean every word I say. So if I'm not your cup of tea, thank you so much for listening this long. I do appreciate you. And I do hope I will see you again soon. Bye.